They're taking dramatic action tonight after Action News exposed the problem of school buses that are dangerously overcrowded. All week long, we've been reporting on kids sitting on bus floors and hanging off seats. And upset parents for sure. Tonight, triggering a big move to change this law. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell in Lansing with the latest on what's being done now to keep our kids safe. When Representative Adam Zemke saw our reports on overcrowded school buses, in some cases, five or six kids forced to sit in one seat, he said that's not acceptable. And if school districts and bus companies aren't going to regulate themselves, Lansing will do the job. What message do you want to send to schools who keep saying, oh, well, we're not breaking the law? Well, we're going to change the law. State Representative Adam Zemke has had enough. He's seen our reports this week on overcrowded buses. Do you guys feel safe? No. no. And heard from his constituents in the Ann Arbor area. State law currently allows buses to be overcrowded for the first month of school, sometimes packed with three, four, five, or even six kids per seat. Enough is enough, says Zemke, who's now drafting legislation that will not only throw out that law, but increase fines if it's violated. And uh, in fact, a uh, bill to mandate school bus seatbelts has been introduced by a, a colleague of mine on the Democratic side of the aisle. And uh, we're going to look forward to pushing that forward too in conjunction with changing this law. Now, of course, every law is put in place for a reason. This one is about cost and protecting kids should a bus driver find more kids than expected waiting for a ride. The concern was leaving those children at the side of the road until another bus got, that, got there to pick them up. Even if they can't plan for the exact numbers, then they should overcompensate in terms of their school buses, right? What about funding? I think some of the schools are going to say, you know what, we might have to eliminate bus service. Well, if they can't get kids to school safely, then they probably shouldn't be transporting them, period. Representative Zemke says he also supports a proposed law requiring kids wear seat belts, which would limit how many kids are on a bus. These proposed changes in the law are just in the beginning phases. If you think it's important, contact your lawmaker. In Lansing, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.